All right, so if you haven't been checking in on the live streams, you are missing out. That is where all of the good stuff is happening. That's where you're gonna see live progress on the Flux Video Diffusion node. And we also have a lot of people popping in sharing quality tips on how to use the flow state nodes or just comfy in general. So come join us if you haven't. It is well worth your time and you will definitely learn some new things. But for those of you who haven't been catching the streams, let's get caught up on the new goodies that we have in store. There's a lot of new cool stuff to cover so let's get into it. All right, so here is our updated comfy workflow with the new nodes. We have, of course, our flow state unified sampler completely built and tested and ready to go on GitHub now, but more on that in just a sec. All the way over in our startup group, we have a small addition to the unified model loader. We have this new seed parameter here that we can use with a use anywhere node as a global seed for our LLM and for our sampler and wherever else we want to send it in the workflow. I felt like that was a pretty helpful feature to add so that way we don't have to set seeds individually on each of our nodes in the workflow. Everything else is exactly the same on the unified model loader so not much to talk about there. Moving on to our prompt group we have the brand new revised LLM prompt and prompt output nodes in order to accommodate for our stable diffusion models we now have a positive and a negative prompt field here the conditioning for both is taken care of internally and the positive and negative conditioning and prompts are output for your sampler this node also handles multiple prompts now so if you would like more than one all you have to do is separate them with this dashed line that has five dashes and you will get two prompts here you can see we've used the llama 3.1 llm model and and here are the outputs from the LLM for both of our prompts. And of course, in our results, we get a cyberpunk lady walking down the street and another woman over here typing code at her computer. Moving on to our sampler group, the latent chooser has not really changed much. I did remove the batch size option from this node as it doesn't really make much sense to have a batch size of greater than one with the new unified sampler because to get a greater batch size we can simply add parameters that we want to test out. Of course the unified sampler is the new kit on the block and this thing is powerful. I will be putting out videos on each of these nodes individually but just as an overview this node ties together all of the functionality that we had in several nodes before including our flux sampler parameters, our plot sampler parameters, our latent multiply, and VAE decoding is all handled internally here. If you want to add your parameters and or your prompt to your image, you can simply turn that to true and hit the Q button again, and we get our output here. You can also change the font size with this field, and you can add more lines if your text is being cut off. Again, there is so much to cover with these nodes, so they will be getting their own individual videos. But for now, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an overview so you can go ahead and get your hands on these. Of course, for installation, you are going to go right over to the Flow State Nodes GitHub repo, and you can copy this link and clone this repo into your custom nodes directory, or you can go into your Comfy Manager and install via Git URL and paste that in right there, and that will do the same thing. And of course, you'll want to give your Comfy a restart after they're installed. And for those of you wanting to know more about the Flux video diffusion progress, we we did get our first iteration of the Flux Video Diffusion node up and running last night on the live stream. Of course, there's more work to be done, but we were able to produce a short video composed entirely of Flux produced frames, which was a huge success for our proof of concept. And now all we have to do is refine this node a bit more and it will be ready to go. Again, if you haven't caught any of the live streams, I would highly suggest jumping in there. It is a good time and you will absolutely learn something new and you'll get to see progress on the Flux Video Diffusion in real time. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Grab the new nodes and let me know what you think. If you run into any bugs, there is a bug chat over on the Patreon, and that's for all members. You don't have to be a paid member to access that. But shout out to all the paid members. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. Every membership helps a ton and helps me continue to create these free assets for everyone. So thank you guys so much for that. And be sure to get your images in over on the Patreon image chat. Again, that is open to all members. 
Each week, we're going to be collectively voting on the top three to five images from the image chat, and I will be featuring them in one of my weekly videos, which I think is a really cool way to share our creations and the techniques that we're using to come up with them. So make sure to get your images in over there for next week's contest. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already, and share the video with anyone you know who might find it useful. And now I got to prep for this evening's live stream. I hope to see you guys there. If not, I will see you on the next one. Take care.